the thunder's gone away for now, which is good. It's just raining still, but I think we can live with that. The bolts that are supplied are here in my hand. You have the four silver bolts and the four washers. You need to make sure that you retain two of the original bolts with washers. Those are going to go into the front two holes. The supplied washers and bolts are going to go in the back two holes. Now this is of course for the Gibby windshield. I don't know if it's the same for Clearview or one of the other manufacturers, but again the process is going to be similar. You're going to bolt either way. Uh, but with the, the one I purchased, these are the supplied bolts, maintain two of the existing bolts. Okay, I struggled for a few minutes trying to figure out how I was going to get this flexible rubber thing back into this hole on both sides while supporting the shield in my hand. And I think my solution, if you go ahead and take one of the long silver bolts, it's not going to stay in there, but temporarily, go ahead and screw it in. What it's going to do is make this system rigid. So as you're trying to push it in, it's not flexing all around on you. So we're going to see if that works. Okay, so let's see if this is going to work. If I place this here, actually, to hold the back, it may not be a bad idea to go ahead and put the bolts in the back just to temporarily support that as well. Let's see, this line's in here. And we screw it into that one. Too bad. I'll just give it some brace in the back so it's not sliding all around on us. i do the same with this side. Again, this is only temporary because I have not put the washers on. That's just to kind of hold it in place. Now we can work on getting these guys in. Now the hole is lined up right there. Perfect. There. This one's not wanting to go in. Make sure I even have it lined up. Ah, there we go. That was tough. Now I'll take those back out because they were only temporarily in there to support the, uh, the rubber piece. And we're going to take the back ones out, but I'm going to go ahead and bolt these in first. Okay, so if you recall, the front two use the existing bolts. They'll just slide right into the hole. They'll tighten down with a Phillips head screwdriver. I think that's pretty good. And remember these bolts in the back we're taking these out. These were just here to support for a little while. But let's put the side ones in first and then we'll take those out. Now these bolts actually require a three millimeter Allen wrench. These are awkward for me to work with and my hands are so big, I, it's tough. So I actually have a, a screw head that fits, so I'm gonna use that. <coughs> you just place it against, make sure all the holes line up. And that's gonna be quite an undertaking, considering. And should just screw right in there and you just follow it up. And just keep going until it's tight. Not too tight though, you don't want to break the, uh, the plastic here. That seems about right. We'll do the same on the other side. I can go ahead and take this out only held in there and then we'll start putting the panels back on okay so far so good uh, the shields in place I have all of the bolts bolted down nice and tight hand tightened nothing cracked everything seems to be working out I'm going to start by putting the front panel back on and screwing in the two screws on the back. Should, everything should just pop right into place. After I do that, I'm going to pop the front panel back on, take a couple of measurements, and we should be done. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so this should just pop right back on. Again, uh, be careful with the rubber gasket. I'm not entirely sure how 
how easily it comes off, but it seems seems not to hold on too tight. Uh, let's see, this goes in here, this lines up there, and there's some slots on the side there that those pop into. That pops in. That pops in. That's it. You can't go wrong there. I mean, that's really nothing to break. It's nice and tight. Seal sits against the uh, shield, so let's get the front panel. I kept the screws in here so I don't lose them. Come right back down. Phillips head screwdriver, same bolt. Should go right back into that hole. And it goes right in. Nice and tight. Now we pop the plastic ball back on. Should sit right in there. Snaps right into place. Everything's tight, nothing's loose. I don't think I forgot anything. Now the final measurement on this was going to be kind of tough to do by myself. Um, the stock windshield has kind of a dip in it, and this was able to sit in that in that groove. The, the new windshield is curved on the top, so my level is not really going to sit. Um, so I'm going to try to hold it here the best I can and get a measurement for us, since that was part of our description. But as is usual in my workshop, if I set something down, it grows legs and walks away. Oh, way over there. I've never even been to that side of the shop today. So now we have our tape measure. And we're going to go ahead and stretch it out. Looks like it'll be right about there. Let's get this up here, get it nice and level. And that's roughly level. And I'm measuring 61 and 3 quarters. What was it, 55 and 3 quarters to begin with? So that's right at 6 inches, which is exactly what the manufacturer said it was. So that's a pretty good improvement. And being that I'm six foot two and a quarter, I have a 32 inch in, in, in seam, which leaves me what? Uh, 76, uh, 40 something inches above the seat, uh, minus whatever I lose when I sit down. Anyway, if I sit on the bike, my head should be behind the screen, just enough that that wind will go over it. That's kind of what I was going for with the new shield. I'll show you some pictures in just a minute. So I think that just about wraps this up. Uh, the shield wasn't too tough to put on. There's a couple of things. These rubber pieces, kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, holding everything up by yourself is kind of a pain in the butt. Find somebody else to help you. Um, otherwise, I mean, the, the instructions don't show how to take off these panels. And if I didn't figure out that I have to remove this back panel first before pulling this off, I could have broken something. That's not fun. It's tough to, to, to understand how to do these things to begin with. The schematics are never good. Um, I didn't know if I was supposed to take those rubber grommets out or not. It appears to be sitting where it's supposed to. Everything worked out, but it could have been, it could have been better from the start. Um, so overall, I would rate their instructions on a scale of one to 10, around a four. Uh, figured it out myself, and hopefully this will help you when, when you start figuring it out yourself. Um, Shield looks considerably higher. I'm going to have some pictures in just a minute to show you uh, with me sitting on the bike where the wind was hitting me. It was coming off that stock shield and just going straight in my face. And I sit behind this one and I'm actually looking just over the shield and I think that's going to be just enough to redirect that wind over me. Uh, hopefully. We'll I hope see. you enjoy my presentation. Uh, thanks so much. Once again, my name is David. Uh, go Lightning.